Kitchen 3. So I really like to cook and when we're on tour I don't get to cook a lot so I like to do it when we're at home. I really like to eat healthy but I like to make things that other people will eat too and so I know that I've come up with a good recipe if I make it and then um, David or Seth will eat it and they'll be like can you make this and so maybe my, my best success as a recipe um, that I kind of made up is for hummus. So that's what I'm gonna make today. And hummus is basically just like a dip, like chips and dip. So it's really good and it's healthy for you. So I'm gonna start with two cans of chickpeas. They're also called garbanzo beans and it's the same thing. And I don't know why they have two names, but. And I'm just gonna put them in the blender. I have half a cup of olive oil here. I don't always have lemon juice, but I do today, so it can be extra good. But you can also um, skip the lemon juice or um, use, I've actually even used pickle juice, anything that adds sort of that acidic um, extra kind of flavor to it, it kind of brightens up the hummus. So, but today I have lemon juice. I think you could probably even use limes, but it just sounds kind of weird. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze in both halves because this is a kind of a big batch of hummus, so. And then, when I want it to get extra creamy and good, I like to put in some Greek yogurt. And you can totally leave the Greek yogurt out. It doesn't really matter, but I just really like Greek yogurt and I eat it all the time. So, I have a little... Six ounce container, and I'm gonna put in about half of it, so three ounces. For just classic hummus, like I'm making, I'm putting in garlic. I have three cloves of garlic here that I just chopped up. I'm gonna add that in. I'm a huge garlic fan, and it really punches the flavor, so it's just my preference, and it's really good for you, so with lots of garlic. And then just put it on, and let's go. Nathaniel wanted to know what my favorite Mexican food is, and um, that one is totally easy for me, and it's guacamole, and it's just, it's it's one of my favorite foods, actually, and it just happens to be Mexican, so there you go on that one. Voila. Now, if you buy hummus in the store, like if you go to Walmart and buy hummus, you can get all sorts of different kinds of flavors, and the classic is just kind of what I'm making right now, and it's mostly like the garlic flavor and the lemon and the hummus or the chickpeas and um but they're all really good and you can get them like spicy or um, roasted red pepper or whatever they're all really good it's kind of almost like a blank canvas you can kind of add whatever flavors you want i'm just going to add fresh um black pepper and salt i'm going to keep it really simple it's going to be really delicious and if you buy it at the store like if you go to Walmart or some store like that, it's going to be about, um, for, for the amount I'm making right now, it's going to be about like five or six bucks. So this is probably going to be about half of that, maybe even less if you get stuff on sale for a good price. So it's really easy to make it on your own, but if you buy it in the store, it's really tasty too. That's one of my favorite things to have in the Green Romette shows. I'm always really stoked. So promoters, hint, hint. So I just added some... Black pepper and salt to taste, and we're just gonna blend it. In. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I don't know if you want to zoom in on this, but it looks really creamy and yummy, and I cannot wait to try it. So, give it a taste here. Mmm, mm hmm. You can really taste the Greek yogurt, kind of brightens it up and the garlic and it's so good. It's one of my favorite things to make for a party because it's just a huge hit and people think that it's really hard to make and they're gonna be really impressed if you make it this and you bring it along and you're like, I made hummus, they're gonna be like, whoa, she's really good at cooking. Hey David? Yeah? I made hummus, do you want some? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Okay. If we don't answer your question, just send it in again and again and you have not because you asked them.